Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Salkin Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers, and this little boy is Mocha. In this video, we're taking Mocha on two different therapy dog outings. Come along with us as we go to St. Luke's Hospital. Also, you'll get to see Mocha in one of his therapy dog training sessions. You'll see step-by-step -step what we are doing to help to develop him to become a beloved therapy dog. Mocha and I are on another outing today. This one is going to be an adventure that really plays to Mocha's strength. Our drive today is exactly 10 minutes from my front door to St. Luke's Hospital. That's right. Mocha, you're getting to go on your first real hospital visit today. Mocha, we have arrived at St. Luke's Hospital. Mocha, you are going to be perfect. At this. this is a parking lot, Mocha. And I know there's going to be sounds and smells that you've never encountered before, but you can handle this. We're ready. How are you feeling in this elevator, Mocha? Different sounds and smells. Yeah. You're doing a good job, Mocha. Now yes. we're in another elevator, Mocha. You're doing so great. You. Isn't he sweet? Yes, he is. Yeah. I'm glad John wanted me to bring him for a visit. Yeah. Is he related to Pepper? He's not related to Pepper. Oh. No. No. But he is the same breed as Pepper. Yes. But it was so nice that you asked for him to come and visit you. I can tell you that on your way to your room here, lots of people stopped us and wanted to say hello, including some nurses. Well, why? Just they wanted to say hello to Mocha. Oh. So that was so nice that you asked us to bring Mocha to see you because other people have gotten to enjoy him along the way as well. Yeah. Yeah. All, right, now. Sure, sure, sure. All of this is new. Lots of new sounds and new smells. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You're trying to help me get him in the picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. In our guardian breeding program, we co-own both girls and boys with a bunch of our friends. Mm. So it makes it really nice. And you're right, April's going to be a busy month for us with some new litters coming. Take a picture. Okay, I'll take a picture. So John is suggesting that I take another picture of him here. And John has such an artistic eye, he can see things so well. This is the view out of the window from the room that we are in at St. Luke's Hospital. What an incredible view of the mountain range. You can understand why it's called the Lehigh Valley because this mountain range and the valley that we are in. When I came in earlier today, it was bright and sunny outside, but it appears to be snowing now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I thought this was behind us. I'm, I'm past snow, I'm already into spring. Let's let the weather know that.
hanging on the wall in this hospital are all sorts of things about the history of the hospital. And I've had the opportunity over time to read some of these. And it is just fascinating. Old Union Station in Bethlehem, 1879. Mocha just fits right in. And we stayed long enough for the sun to come out again. Mocha is just fine now with all of the sounds and noises. We've desensitized him to the sounds of a hospital and the elevator rides. He's been on a bunch of elevator rides now here in this building. Again, just all in a part of desensitizing him to what it's like to do therapy dog work. Hello. Yeah, he is very, very sweet. Hello, baby. He likes to say hello. He's oh. very easy going. Oh, See the puppy? Oh, look at that. There's a puppy in oh, look here. Look at how cute. Oh. So cute. We're back in the parking garage. And again, the reason I'm sharing all of these little clips with you is that the, the sights and the sounds are quite different. So desensitizing Mocha to all of this so that he just thinks it's normal. That's the goal in what we're doing. He's seeing lots of people. He's seeing and hearing things he's never experienced before. Back in the car, ready to go home. This is, this, this is Mocha. This, this is, yes, collar. Yes, collar, Mocha. Yes, collar. Mocha, spin. Yes, spin. Yes, sit. Touch. Okay. Spin. Spin. Yes, spin, Mocha. Yes, sit. Down. Yes, down. Yes, down. Watch me. Yes, watch me. Watch me. Yes, watch me. Down. Yes, down. Yes, touch. Yes, touch. Down. Yes, down. Yes, down, Mocha. Mocha, come. So this little spin that he's doing is his nervous reaction. I'm going to get the little bit. So Mocha was not uh, coming off of the place's bed again today. So we've put the little yes. bed back there so that he's willing to step into the bed. And we're going to do the same. Mocha, come. Yes, come. Let's go. Places. Yes, places, Mocha. Come. Yes, come. Yes, come, Mocha. Mocha, let's go. Places. Yes, very well. 
Sandy is grooming Mocha, getting him ready for another visit. He's going on a therapy dog visit here in just a few minutes. And before we go out for a therapy dog work, we always like to make sure our dogs are super clean and ready. So thank you, Sandy. You're welcome. Mocha and I are out for another outing. We are going on another therapy dog visit, Mocha. Yes. Mocha is just super calm and relaxed in the car now because of all of this adventure that we've had going on with him in the car. But this is what he looks like as we are just pulling out. Yes, Mocha, what a good boy you are. Such a good boy riding in the car, Mocha. Yes. I think it's safe to say Mocha travels very well in the car now. No signs of anxiousness or fear about riding in the car. This is Bethlehem, Fountain Hill area. And off there in the distance, you can see the St. Luke's Hospital. That's where we're going again today. St. Luke's Place. This is the St. Luke's University Hospital. There will be no snow squalls today. It is 57 degrees outside. And so it's a lovely day. Sun is shining and we are just strolling and walking our way into the main entrance here. So, he is a therapy dog in training. Oh my goodness. And we are here for a visit today. So cute. Yeah, he's such a sweetie. His name is Mocha. Mocha. Oh, very yeah. fitting. Hi, Mocha. Mocha, you're doing great in elevators now. You seem to really enjoy the stroller and visiting people. We're on our way up. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the movement of all these different things no longer causes you any stress. Good job, Mocha. Yes. talking about the bacon fest down in Easton. Oh yes, bacon fest. That sounds great. Isn't this a nice That's stroller? Substantial. It does. It makes a big difference when I'm uh, bringing my little doggies out for visits. So the question is how much does Mocha weigh? That's a good one. I think he's about seven, seven and a half pounds right now and I expect him to be somewhere around 10, maybe 12 when he is full grown. That's a good buddy, John. Boy, what I love. <laughs> See, here we go. Bring them all, huh? <laughs> it was nice meeting you, Mocha. You're such a cutie. You're such a cutie. Yeah. You're going to help John get better. You're going to help John get better, right? What did you say? Oh, I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> you like taking pictures of him, don't you? Yeah. I'm doing a little test here. I am out of the room, and I have left Mocha in the room, and we are just checking to see how he responds. He's just fine. He's doing great. He's not anxious about me going, being gone at all. You're doing a great job. Yes. Today, the view out this window is so much different than the other day when we were here and we were having snow squalls. Don't you love the bright sunshine? I decided to have a little lunch since it is lunch time. And this is good because Mocha gets to sit here as lots of people are walking by. Somebody wants to share my lunch with me. 
Do you think you'd like this? Mocha is hearing all kinds of noises, sounds, experiences as we're, as I'm sitting here eating my lunch and he's just watching the world go by. So another little test. I'm going to take my lunch and throw it in the trash can, which has me going behind an area where Mocha cannot see me to get to the trash can. What a perfect boy you are. Not a peep while I was out of sight. Well done. Yes, Mocha. The sounds, the sights have changed and yet Mocha's temperament remains the same. He's curious, but he's calm. You're a good boy, Mocha, yes. Wow, several birds just swooped right down, swooped right over his head. And even so, he was just calm and we're gonna get in the car now. We're pulling out of the parking garage and Mocha says, I'm happy to be in the car for a little while. You had a good day today, didn't you, Mocha? You certainly did bring a lot of joy.